Jersey 101.5. Good morning. I'm Bill Spadia with you at 10 o'clock this morning talking Jersey. Taking your calls, 1-800-283-101.5. Talking about this, uh, the horrific shootings overnight in Dallas. Five police officers are dead. Six more wounded. Some, as we understand, fighting for their lives. Um, very, very tough morning for law enforcement. Wake up and, and uh, have that news. And obviously our thoughts and prayers are with the Dallas Police Department and all the families uh, and the officers who are uh, suffering from this this uh, this atrocity, um, you know, and and uh, I wanted to give you the Jersey perspective. You heard from Pat Colligan, who's the head of the PBA in New Jersey, and uh, Bob Fox, who's the head of the Fraternal Order of Police. Um, you know, th- th- this this resonates through the entire law enforcement community, and uh, I'm I'm joined now by uh, my friend Steve Adubato, who is the host of One on One with Steve Adubato. He is uh, an acclaimed author and broadcaster. And Steve, welcome to New Jersey 101.5. It's good to talk to you this morning. It's uh, good to talk to you, Bill. We were going to be talking about your coming on One on One tonight. We were going to be talking about, um, you know, something positive going into the weekend. And everything changed. Yeah, I know it was heavy morning. I mean, what, what? When did you first hear about this? I was, uh, you know, I got up, I got up at three, and I'm, I'm watching the news, and just it just it unfolded before our eyes. You know, you, you and I are texting each other late last night, saying, "Hey, why don't we talk about uh, the presidential campaign and Chris Christie and potential vice presidential, yeah, uh, and, and situation?" And and then I see the, I'm watching the different uh, demonstrations across the country regarding the. The two uh, incidents where African American uh, men were were, were killed, were, yeah. were, sh- were you know were shot and, and 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 died, and I'm watching these protests. And I'm just hoping and praying that they're peaceful. And yeah, and then the Dallas thing happens, and I'm thinking these cops were shot. And then you're praying that they're going to survive. And then my wife tells me later on that they died. And I wake up this morning and I realize that it's. Worse than anyone could imagine, and yeah. just, uh, well, and 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 planned and targeted. I mean, yeah. you're talking about um, you know the, the, this whole thing with snipers and assassination and triangulation. I mean, and I heard the the uh, the officer, the detective in uh, D.C. today interviewed, saying th- th- this didn't come together in a couple no. days. No, and you know, let's let's put this in perspective. We were talking about police officers um, with handguns and. Um, and you know they're wearing a bulletproof vest that yeah. has absolutely no ability to uh, withstand an assault weapon. That assault weapon, um, those bullets go right through those um, bulletproof vests a- against a handgun. These cops are so incredibly courageous, and they were protecting those protesters. We have yeah. no idea how to. Well, we we are broadcasters, right, Bill? That's what we do. Yeah. We have no idea, none of us have no idea how brave and how courageous police yeah. officers are. Well, let me and ask you, They st- deserve nothing but our respect and our admiration and our hearts and prayers go out to how the do you, of those cops. Well, I, I'll tell you, Stephen, I appreciate you saying that, and, and you're right. And I, you know, we do uh, hashtag Blue Friday every Friday on New Jersey 101.5 because my mission this year has been to try to change this narrative. Because I don't think people have the proper perspective of what cops go through every day. Uh, and sometimes the most dangerous times or when they're pulling a car over and certainly you don't expect this but this is even beyond the normal course of police work like we're to me and and you said this earlier like you know police officers are are under assault they're they under are. attack and and how do you get how do you turn that tide back because i i think that you know right away the different political sides start to talk about uh, every issue from you know from gun control to uh you know to body cameras uh, but I think it's more than that. I think it's a it's a cultural yeah. issue that people do not have a perspective on how how critically important cops are to our society. You know, I, I tell you what, Bill, I, I'm going to refuse to engage in political um, rhetoric today, and I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Because those two incidents happened with those two African American men, and I was feeling for their families, and I saw the young man who lost his dad, um, and he was crying. Yeah. Fifteen year old boy. I mean, I have two sons. I have three sons, an older son and two youngers who are younger ones who are 13 and 12, and I felt the pain. But let me tell you something. Human life is human life. And anyone who politicizes, anyone who tries to say, you know, this is about, you know, race one way or the other, those cops 
are human beings and they have families. And what we don't understand is that every single day those cops put their lives on the line and they are they actually go out there no matter what the situation is and put themselves in harm's way right. and they are under siege and the fact that some cops make mistakes when they're out there and do things that may not make sense they need to be dealt with that has nothing to do with cops being under siege and if we don't acknowledge thank you steve that cops are under siege that's wrong thank you protect them that i'm so glad you said that that is exactly my point i think the comments from bonnie watson coleman irresponsible the comments of the the minnesota governor irresponsible i i'm with you on that i i i I know we see eye to eye on this one, and and uh, I got to tell you just real quick because I got to jump for news. But um, tell me, just the show's airing tonight. What time? Where can people watch it? You can catch uh, Bill Spadia on on one on one. Not talking about this, but talking about the presidential campaign yeah. on NJTV tonight at seven, and again at eleven yeah. thirty on NJTV PBS. And for those who are up late tonight at one a.m. on the PBS flagship in New York WNET, um, Bill. Um, Hearts go out to them, yeah. but uh, the best to you and everyone on the 101.5 um, uh, thanks, family Steve. listening. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll watch the show tonight, and thanks. I, and I do appreciate the time you gave me on your show. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good conversation between you and I talking politics. Obviously, it's off of the, not on the, the main news today. But thanks for joining me this morning, Steve, and I appreciate your comments and your perspective uh, on New Jersey 101.5. You have a great weekend, Steve. We'll talk soon. Take care, Bill. All right, buddy. Uh, 828 on New Jersey 101.5. Eric Scott coming back with the news next. New Jersey 101.5.